Hey, this is Chris from Essential SQL. Now, if you're working with null and you find it maddening, then you gotta watch this video. All right, let's get started. I'm going to first start out with a pretty simple query here that just sets the stage. So what I've done is put together a list of um, products that has got the top 10. You can see I have the color and some have a null and others have a color value. And what I want to do here is show you what happens if I bring in an expression, like if I wanted to like add a, a, a character to the beginning of the color. So instead of black, it would be like, you know, asterisk black or star black. So you may expect that when I do this with null that I would, instead of getting null, I would get the value star. So let's run this and see what happens. And what you see what happens is, is I still get null. Isn't that maddening? It's crazy. Um, sometimes I think of null as being poison. You know, it's it's not a value. It's um, a concept in the database. And, and essentially whatever null touches basically takes whatever that expression or value is down to its lowest level, which is null. So here, if I have the color uh, as null, and then it's trying to combine with the star, it does nothing, it just says no. And that can be really frustrating. So let's just go through a couple of concepts and properties of null. And as we walk through this, I think you're going to understand how it all works. Okay, so let's first start out with what I call wild null. All right, so I'm gonna bring in just a quick example here. And what you're gonna find is I'm going to use a variable called, and I'm going to set it to value as null. Okay, and just initially, I'm just going to work with some expressions that are outside of the table. So if I do like the select one plus one, you can see it equals two. All right, so if I add at value here, right, you may expect this to be equal to two, but when I run this, you see it comes back as null, and that's really you know, frustrating, especially when you have a database full of table, you know, full of rows, and it's just one of them has a null value or null, and it can essentially take your expression down. So the way to work around this is to use the in null or the is null, and we've talked about this in the past in other videos. And the idea here is to look at the column or variables I have here, and if that variable is null we would set it to another value such as zero, right? So now when I run this, you can see it comes back with two. And if I wanted to, I could actually make this like three for some odd reason, you know, and there it'd come back with five. The other thing I can do here is just to show you how this all works is maybe make value equal to 10, right? And now when I run this, you see it comes back with 12. It didn't even need to do that as null because the value was already set to 10. All right, I'm gonna put that back. So I have some more examples I wanna show you. And the next is with the if, okay. So what I'm gonna do here is use an inline if to show if a value equals another. So this expression here in the middle, if this equals true, then I'm gonna say it's equals, otherwise not equals. So let's just run this, see what happens you can see it's equals. All right, so I'm going to now change this to a zero just to show you what happens. And you can see it says not equals. All right, so far so good. Now you can understand how if works. Now let's put in a null. And if you're like me, you'd expect that to equal not equals. It makes sense because one definitely is not equal to null. But here's the crazy one. And this is what I wanted to show you. And that is, well, null equal null, right? I mean, they're spelled the same. They're even in blue, the color. So will they equal each other or not equal each other? Right, so if you guess that they're not equal, you get a star. Isn't that crazy? So null does not equal null. Think about that one for a second. All right, so one thing you can do when you're working with null and other values again is you can always use the is null so if i'm if 
I had, you know, again, the one equals null. And you can think of this as where we're working with, um, you know, columns or expressions. And I have my value rolling through and it's going to be null and it's always going to mess up my thing. I could always say, um, you know, is null, whatever this is. And I'm going to make this at value now just to kind of add some color to it. And then I could say zero here. So just let me space this out a bit. So now it's going to be, is one equal to is null of the value? And if so, make that zero. Let's run this, see what happens. And you can see it says not equals. And what's happening again is, is it, it's basically saying, hey, is one equal to this expression? And this expression is essentially saying, well, value is set to null. So I'm going to set my is null return value equal to zero. That's how that's working. I have a video on this that I'll put in the links and you can look at. So if I make this equal to one, let's say, and then run this, you can say it's equals because one equals the value of one. One isn't null, so it doesn't have to set it to zero. Hopefully you're seeing how this works. Again, if I make this null again, it will now go sideways. So again, the thing I think that is really crazy here that I want to point out is that at value equal at value, you might see this in your code and you're going to, and you're wondering why isn't this not working? It should work because they're equal to each other. And probably the reason is because you have a syntax here. But once you get that fixed, and you look at it, and you're like, why is it not equal? Well, it could be that both the, both of these are set to a null, right? And that's really what I wanted to point out, because null does not equal null. So if you found this video interesting, you know, like and subscribe. And I hope this helped you understand a little more about how null operates and how it can drastically influence your comparisons and the expressions produced from uh, your input, especially when nulls involved. Thanks. Bye.